So guys, we have a Reddit. Um, that might be a mistake, but make sure to join because when there's enough people on there posting random crap, we're gonna make a series on it. But today we're talking about something I am super passionate about, so I hope you enjoy this video. So first of all, just before we begin, you guys are just amazing. Every time I open up this page, I just cannot believe it. The number of people watching these videos is now all the way up to 5.9%. That is just incredible to me. I cannot believe that. So if you enjoyed this video and you're part of that 94.1% of people that aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. I post tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So tomorrow is VR Friday. So tomorrow I'm uploading a VR video for you. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear what you guys have to say. Join our Discord server and without further ado, let's get into the video. Matt, but somebody's taking a shower right now. So I think I should wait till they stop. Oh, I hate when this happens. I'm gonna wait till they stop. This is this is the problem of having your room right next to someone else's bathroom. Like, you can just hear them taking a shower. Anyway, guys, we're gonna have to make do with this. I'm really sorry for any background noise. Ow. So today we're talking about something I am super passionate about, and it's computer building. Because a lot of people have been coming to me recently and asking me on whether they should build or purchase a pre-built in 2020. If you're here for the short answer, the answer is you should always build your own. If you want to find out why, stay tuned. So first of all, let me talk about the simple things. The first reason you should actually build a computer might not be obvious to everyone, but it's for the experience. A lot of people look at a computer and they're like, oh my god, this must be so hard. How do you get this to, to do that? <laughs> It really isn't as hard as you think it is. There are a few ways you can fail miserably while building a computer, and since I work in a computer shop, I have seen people do that, but as long as you follow just literally any tutorial out there, Linus Tech Tips all the way, you will be completely fine. Like, all the parts have their certain places on the motherboard, and you really can't mess up where you place them. What you could mess up is putting the CPU into the socket, or putting the screws on the wrong way around, which I have actually seen done, and I'm not exactly sure how people do it. The experience is needed. As more and more of us use computers every day, they break down, they have issues, they stop working. Or not even that, maybe someday you'll want to upgrade your computer, put in a better graphics card, add RAM, add a hard drive. It's not really as hard as you think it is, and that knowledge, once you have it, it stays there forever. And if you ever want to upgrade in the future, you don't have to pay someone else to do it. So not only are you saving money, but you're gaining an experience, something that you will definitely need for the future, as we spend more and more time in front of our computers on a daily basis. So now we're going to talk about the main reason. Now that I've gotten the part where you're actually scared to build the computer yourself because you might break something out of the way, let's talk about the fact that usually when you're buying pre-built, you're getting ripped off. Now, this isn't always the case, of course. There are some amazing pre-builds out there, and there are companies that will actually build the computer for you and you only pay them a small fee. But usually, you're actually better off building it yourself. The prices can sometimes be completely insane. To prove this to you, we're going to search up the price of a computer that is pre-built, and then we're going to build it on a website called PC Part Picker. So I have my handy dandy razor blade here, and without further ado, let's find ourselves a computer to build. I'm going to go into my local store here, which is just about an hour away from my house, because everything is about an hour away from my house by car. I live in the middle of nowhere and therefore can't buy anything when I actually need it. Amazon has been a lifesaver. Also, can I make a quick suggestion? Gigabyte, can you please fix your goddamn software? Civ doesn't work, System Information Viewer. RGB Fusion doesn't work, which is like the thing that controls my goddamn LEDs. Can you just make this shit actually work and make it look half decent, please? It's- Come on! You've had enough time to do this. Okay, so I'm on the website here right now. And I'm just going to go into computing and I'm going to go into desktop PCs and Windows 10 desktop PCs. I mean, that's kind of interesting. What other desktop PC might you want? Okay, so straight up, I see some interesting things. Um, I see this computer here by MSI. It's an MSI Infinite and the price for it is 959 euro. Now what you're getting for that price is an Intel Core i5-9400F, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, 260 gigabyte S 256 gigabyte SSD, very small by the way, I tried living on that, and uh, and an Nvidia GTX 1650. I think we can do better than that. So let's go into PC part picker here and um, let's build this system. Also guys, super excited to announce that very soon I will be starting a series where I go onto eBay and I find horrible PC deals and debunk them. So I'm super excited about that. I can't wait. That's probably going to be starting this Saturday. So if you're interested about that, stay tuned. Okay. So we have an Intel Core i5 
9,400F. 9,400F. Okay, so that's about 198 euro. Okay, so that's actually quite a lot for a CPU, to be completely honest with you. Um, I have the AMD Ryzen 5 2600X, and by the way, I would recommend you buy Ryzen nowadays. Um, there's a ton of videos out there on why you should do that, but they've pretty much just blown Intel out of the water. So um, that actually comes with a CPU cooler, so we're not going to include that. Let's just get a motherboard. Um, let's get the MSI Z390A Pro. Let's throw that in there. Okay, now let's choose uh, RAM. So this thing has eight gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't specify what type of RAM, which isn't a lot, by the way, for 2020. Uh, the ideal amount would be 16, but you actually can't get eight gigs of RAM on PC part pickers. So we're just gonna go with literally 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we're gonna have more RAM. So now let's get some storage. So there was a one terabyte hard drive there. So let's go with one terabyte Western Digital and let's add a 250 gigabyte SSD. Again, it doesn't specify what SSD it is, SSD. And usually these pre-builds, they don't come with the best SSD. So we're not gonna blow all our money on an SSD. We're gonna go 57 euro. We're gonna choose the Adata one. I'm just trying to show you that you can get roughly the same thing. And it doesn't specify whether it's an M.2 SSD because if it was an M.2 SSD, it would be much better. But unfortunately it doesn't specify that. So we, we can only go off what we have here. And video cards. So this is probably where most of the money is going to go. Let's add a GTX 1650 because that's what we had there. So we can add the Gigabyte OC card because all the cards I buy are Gigabyte. I trust them, they make very good cards. So we've added that one there, that was 215. Let's add a case. Now, the best part about PC building is you have total freedom over your case and there's just so many incredible cases out there. I love you, NZXT absolutely love you. NZXT makes just such minimalistic, beautiful cases in accordance to me. And we're not actually gonna go NZXT here because even though I love and adore them, their cases can be a little bit expensive. And of course, if you did want to get that, go all in, I got mine. It was pretty expensive, but uh, we're gonna go for a cheaper case here. We're gonna go for the Corsair 100R because it still has a window. It's still a pretty decent case and you can show off your components in there. So that's the one we are going to go for. So that's going to cost us about 55 euro. And then we can add a power supply. You don't want to cheap out on your power supply. Your power supply is usually uh, very, very important. If you cheap out on your power supply, chances are the rest of your components are unfortunately going to fail. Okay, so I've actually just checked there. So uh, PC Part Picker says that our estimated wattage is 265 watts, which is actually super, super low. So here we have a Corsair CMX, CXM, uh, 550 watts for 94 euros. So that's the one we are going to go for. Okay, so we have our pre-built system. It's a little bit stronger than the one you'd be getting in the shop because PC Part Picker doesn't allow me to choose eight gigabytes of RAM. It's still cheaper. So this kind of proves to you that you can actually get better for a lower price. Let's go back to PC World. And here you can see that this PC that they're listing has a Core i5 9400F, one terabyte hard drive, 256 gigabyte SSD, eight gigabytes of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1654 gigabyte. Uh, we've actually got two of those things better. We have the RAM better and we have the graphics card better. So basically I've upgraded the RAM to 16 gigs and I've upgraded the graphics card to a GTX 1650 super overclocked four gigabyte card. And all this comes out to 901 euro. So you're saving yourself about 60 euro and you're getting better parts. Now, again, if you were to get the same graphics card and if you were to get eight gigabytes of RAM, you'd save yourself probably about 100 euro. And not only that, once you put this together, you know how to put it together and you'll have that knowledge for the future. So you can actually upgrade it yourself. If you ever feel the need to add more RAM, add a better SSD, you can totally do that. And you have total freedom as to what motherboard you choose. You have total freedom as to what case you use because you can have a case chosen to your liking to suit the setup you have. Or if you don't want a window, if you don't want RGB, completely your freedom. Now, I absolutely love making my computer reflect me as a person. Currently, currently it's not doing that because Gigabyte's being a bit, their stupid software doesn't work. Gigabyte. I try to launch RGB Fusion. God damn it, Gigabyte. So, uh, currently my computer isn't as flashy as it would normally be. 
but hey, hopefully Gigabyte get there together and fix their RGB software. Now, when you're building your own computer, again, as I said, you have total freedom as to what parts you want to use. So you might not necessarily want to use a Gigabyte motherboard. I use them because I know they last a very long time and they work really, really well. Now, their software might be um, less than ideal, but their parts themselves, their hardware lasts very long, doesn't overheat, doesn't break, it's very robust, so that's why I use it. But if you wanted like super RGB goodness, you might want to go for the ASUS ROG boards because their RGB software is absolutely insane. So there you have it guys. This was a very, very short video and I know that I probably didn't cover everything, but I got the main parts that I wanted to get covered. The fact that you might need this experience in the future and the fact that you can do things yourself without paying others to do it and spending your hard earned money. Not only that, but then if you wanna upgrade something, you don't have to wait for somebody else to do it for you. You can just totally swap it out yourself or you can find parts cheaper because the cool part is you can actually find these parts used, the parts that PC parts picker was showing me were brand new. If you find all these parts used, you can put yourself together an absolutely insane system for like half the price you'd get it pre-built for, which is incredible because most used parts actually age very well, except for maybe graphics cards. You have to be careful with miners, and I don't mean those types of miners. There really isn't any downsides to building your own computer in 2020 because companies usually offer a really nice warranty, there's a lot of tutorials online, and once you have it done, you remember how to do it forever, and then if something breaks down, down, you can fix it yourself, you know how to troubleshoot, and you just gain a lot of really, really good experience with it. That, with the added benefit of saving a lot of cash, really gives me no negative, unless you decide to screw the fan on the wrong way. That's some bad flashbacks right there. I really hope that this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, or you're wondering about buying a PC, and you have some specs in mind, you can ask me down in the comment section below. I'll happily help you choose some brand new parts for your PC. I'm very passionate about this. I've been doing this since I was very young and I have a job in this and I absolutely love it. So I'm happy to help whenever someone needs it. So again, if you're part of that 94.1% of people that aren't subscribed yet and you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Tomorrow is VR Friday and Saturday. I'm going to try starting that brand new series. Join our Reddit because we're going to have so much fun there once people start posting stuff. I'm going to do reviews of it, things like that. So that's going to be really, really cool. And yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Make sure to follow me on my social media here and here. If you want to see future videos and me notified when they come out, ding that bell, join the 360p gang. See you again in the next one. Peace. Did you guys want some ASMR? Check this out. Let, let me get that down for you. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I have way too much fun making these videos. <laughs>